Hello everyone. So today we are going to make a very comfort dish, quick for lunch or dinner, a pasta fettuccine with some prawns and vodka along with garlic toast. So let's start the prep. We'll start with uh, fettuccine because homemade pasta would take the maximum time. Uh, I've got whole wheat flour since it's uh, healthy preparation. That's atta. Uh, we've got 250 grams of uh, whole wheat flour. For this, we need one whole egg, three egg yolk, some table salt, extra virgin olive oil, and some water if uh, we need to make it moist. So we will start with making a well. We have to ensure that the eggs stay in this well. Yeah. So slowly we will mix it. Add a little salt to it. Little extra virgin olive oil. So we'll leave it this thing for resting about hour, hour and a half. We need to wrap it nicely. So the dough doesn't go dry. I will check the dough. It should come back slowly. It means we're ready. Now the pasta dough is well rested, so we start rolling it for fettuccine. Let's blanch the pasta now. The best way of serving pasta is al dente, which is just done, not fully cooked. It's just done. It's al dente pasta ready. Like I said, longer the better. Give it experience. So now we will add olive oil. Yeah, as we say, we never throw the pasta stock. Stock is as in which we have boiled the pasta. The same water we always store the water. This we will use it in cooking. Outstanding flavor. So now I'm going to make the sauce. It's a prawn and vodka sauce. What we'll do is first we will make the prawn. We'll saute the prawns. We'll keep it aside, and then we'll start making the sauce. So the prawns don't get overcooked. So let's heat the pan first. Take out the pan. About 
70% percent cooked. We'll take it out. The prawns are ready. Now we are going to use the same pan to have the maximum flavor in our sauce. Start with extra virgin olive oil. We like red onions in this. The tomatoes are almost cooked. Now I'm going to add some sea salt. Some crushed pepper that gives nice good flavor to the pasta. Some broccoli. This is already blanched. I'm going to add some cream in this. Yeah. Now we'll flambe the vodka. It's always better to cook the alcohol before adding to the sauce. Otherwise, it kills the taste, it kills the entire taste of the of the entire preparation. You have to cook the, you have to burn the alcohol. See, once the alcohol is burned, it is the flavors which stays. Now we'll add, we'll transfer the sauce in a bigger container so that we can cook the prawns. Uh, so see the sauce is boiling and you know it's always when you add the pasta, pasta absorbs the, absorbs the sauce, the moisture. So it has to be slightly watery. So that's why this is why I've added the pasta stock in this. It gives more flavor to it. And now I'm adding the prawns which are already cooked, about 70% to the sauce. Now we will make the garlic toast. So for the garlic toast we need we need bread, sliced bread, we need butter, we need crushed garlic. So we don't chop the garlic, we always crush the garlic. It gives more flavor and juices in this. Garlic butter is almost ready. So if you have unsalted butter, then you add a little salt because I have used the unsalted butter. Smell it and let the garlic get cooked. You get nice good flavor of garlic butter. Yeah, the pasta is ready. Pasta with garlic toast. 